Ali Gordofkin could only stand on the sidewalk this morning and stare at his business and wonder just how much damage yesterday's fire did to his 11 year old glass company. I've been here since 2009. I've pretty much we lost everything right now. It's all flooded and full of water. We can't get in. They don't let us back in. Firefighters had said six commercial buildings were damaged in this huge fire, but today they said there are actually more. We, in addition to that, have buildings along Erie Street, which have uh, external uh, damage or exterior damage, damage from the fire. Look at the aftermath from this fire. Two buildings destroyed, two others will likely need to be demolished. Firefighters have not located a cause, but say a mattress fire at a homeless encampment is part of their investigation. They will follow up with that to see if there's a nexus to that incident and this incident. At this point, to say that there is would merely be speculative. They should have not been over there. Gordofkin won't be surprised if the mattress fire is to blame. He says he has reported problems with the homeless to the city for years. They go have a party on our roofs when we are not here. And evidence is right there. You can see the a bunch of uh, graffitis and the feces that they uh, leave behind. Now he is left trying to figure out how to keep paying his six employees. I'm trying to keep them float because <laughs> they have to pay their livings too.